the professional kitchen. An environment I've never been in before. So that says a lot about this cooking channel. The fact that I've never actually been in this environment before. Hey everyone, welcome back to Amuse Bouche. Now, as you can see, I am not in the usual location for Amuse Bouche. Um, that location is no more. Gone. Finito. Reason for that, we've got rid of that kitchen. We've moved out of that flat. We're moving on to bigger and greater things. Not this, not this all the time. That'd be mental, this is a business. Okay, they can't afford to have me in here going, oh, uh, just, just plod about with some fryers and some decent ovens and some actual space. No. Over the Christmas period, we're gonna be bringing you three little videos from uh, the kitchen here at the Fox and Hounds in Breeden, uh, which is near Tewkesbury. Today, we're starting off with an adaptation of a classic Christmas food, the mince pie. I hate mince pies. There, okay, I've said it. Now, we're gonna get some bad feedback on that, but they ain't for me. I don't like all the fruit in it. Mince meat, AKA gunk. Not for me, thank you very much. So I thought like, why not try and do a version of a mince pie that I can eat and that I like? It's got chocolate in it, basically. It's gonna be silly be a chocolate mince pie. We're gonna put some pistachios in it, and for the people who don't like nuts and their brownies, look away now. We're gonna put some Maltesers in, and some fudgy brownie on top, turn it into a little pastry case. It's gonna be lovely. So let's get to it. Kicking things off, it's Christmas. So why don't we smash out some chocolate? Into a microwavable bowl goes 140 grams of dark chocolate and 140 grams of unsalted butter. Now, you could melt this over a bain-marie, but I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave for a minute and melt it down that way. You know, we're in a professional kitchen and that's what they do all the time on Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmare, so why not? While that's doing its thing, we're gonna go into a bowl with 170 grams of brown sugar and 80 grams of caster sugar. To that, we're gonna add one whole egg and two egg yolks. Give it all a good whisk together until the mixture goes a light brown color and doubles in size. Now that we've had the chocolate and butter melted down for a little while so that you know, it isn't boiling hot and gonna cook the eggs as soon as it goes into the sugar. We're gonna drizzle all that lovely chocolate into the main bowl and using a spatula, mix the chocolate and butter into the egg and sugar. It'll come together like a dark brown liquid gold. Don't forget to add a little pinch of salt. Into the bowl now goes our dry ingredients, 70 grams of plain flour and 30 grams of cocoa powder. It's basically a chocolate brownie. Fold the flour into the liquid gold and you'll be left with a naughty little batter. You can also add just a little touch of milk to loosen this slightly. That'll make things easier later. Next up, we want something more than just a brownie and a bit of pastry. So we're gonna roughly chop some shelled pistachios and add them to some pre-smashed up Maltesers. They'll make an appearance in a minute. Now, I'm using a sheet of short crust pastry from the supermarket. Why not? You know, it's Christmas and I wanna have my chocolate mince pies in a matter of minutes, not hours. Using a biscuit cutter, I'm gonna cut out some discs from the pastry. You want them slightly bigger than the muffin or cupcake tin that you're gonna be using. You might not be able to get hold of this, but I found it in the kitchen. It's a non-stick spray, which basically is just gonna make sure that nothing sticks to this pan. You can use some butter or vegetable oil. Just make sure they're really generously coated so that you don't have to pry the mince pies out later and they break and then you're a failure. You're just a failure. Take a piece of the pastry and push it straight down into the tin. That'll leave you with a lovely little case. Then we're gonna put a small handful of the nuts and Maltesers that we smashed up earlier in the very bottom. Next, we're bringing back our chocolate brownie mixture. As I said earlier, adding a touch of milk will really help you loosen it slightly, making life so much easier when it comes to this stage. I'm putting the brownie mixture into a piping bag and giving it a good swing around my head just to make sure that everything's in there good and proper. Then trim off the end and pipe into the case, covering the nuts and Maltesers and filling the pastry. Now, you're a good baker. You know, you've got some cookie cutter shapes in your cupboard, some stars, maybe a Christmas tree. I had Ruth cutting out a star out of a piece of cardboard, so that's why that looks like that. Either way, if you wanna add some decoration to the top, now's the time to do it and give it a good egg wash before it goes in the oven. Get them into the oven at about 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark five for about 20 minutes. The pastry should be cooked and crisp on the outside and the brownie just cooked in the middle. If you stick a skewer in it, and pull it out, you should see on the end just preferably just a few crumbs. And there you have it. A Christmassy little treat that is essentially a chance to put a brownie into a bit of pastry. Christmas, 
So, there we have it. We have our little chocolate mince pies here, as you can see. And to be honest, they actually worked really well. The pastry is great. If you add a little shape cutter, some holly leaves, a little star, stick that on the top. The only thing I will say is they do balloon out a little bit. They seem to have caked out. I don't know how you'd stop that, but you know, it's Christmas and all you want is some chocolate, sprinkle with some icing sugar and some pastry. This is what you got. So let's give it a try. I mean, get rid of that. The pastry is really good. Really, really crisp on the outside. Nice and buttery. In the inside, we can see that there's like those little Malteser bits. You can see some pistachios, but it stayed quite fudgy inside, which is looking good. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Pastry's a little bit sweet. We've got that sweetened over short crust pastry. So that's why it's sweet but it's crisp on the outside, which is really, really nice. The brownie, gone quite firm on the top, almost cake-like, but stayed fudgy in the middle. Really, really fudgy. And I think that's because you've baked it in a pie case. Listen, you're gonna get a lot of people out there going, well, let's not get rid of the mince pie just yet. And I agree, keep your mince pies, but you keep the mince pies and I'll have these. You could do a big version of this in a big pie base, fill it with brownie mixture, let it cook up, and it would work just as well as a little pudding or something over Christmas. Like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come back over the next few weeks. We're gonna be doing some more Christmassy foods and I'll see you next time.